welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name's Amanda, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this sign uh, that says grateful, thankful, and blessed using only Dollar Tree products. So let's go ahead and let me show you what I did. So to get started, I'm gonna take this celery color from Waverly Chalk Paint and paint three of the Dollar Tree picture frames. Now the picture frames I chose are these uh, five by seven and they're brown and they kind of have these little ridges on them. And you can see I'm not gonna paint like a full coat. I wanted some of that brown to show through. And I just love the way these turned out. These picture frames were just beautiful. Now what you can't see here is the glass insert from the picture frame. I'm using that as just a template um, along with my magic marker here and I'm gonna draw on this disposable cookie sheet and that way I can cut those out and that'll fit right inside the picture frame. These uh, disposable cookie sheets come in a pack of two and I did have to use both of them to cut out three of the, what I'm gonna call the metal backings. Now, I don't know if you guys can see how shiny those cookie sheets are, that metal backing, <laughs> but it was way too shiny for me. So I mixed a little bit of my Waverly chalk paint in the white and just a dab of the black to give it this kind of gray color and just lightly coated the metal backings just to take some of that shine off. And then I'm going to take this grateful, thankful, blessed sign from the Dollar Tree. I know so many people have used this and I'm just gonna go ahead and place these right in the middle. And then I will, I'm not gonna use the little floral parts on there. I'll save that for something else. And then I'm just gonna add the metal backings into the frame. Once I get that in there, I'm going to take this burlap ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and just cut little strips and glue them in between the frames. And I just used my ruler to kind of get them about an inch apart or so. I just wanted to make sure I was evenly distributing those. So that's what it looks like once I've got the ribbon connecting them. And then to hang it, I'm gonna take the ribbon and just kind of fold it over and hot glue it to the top of the frame here, and that's how I'll hang it. So this is what the sign looks like hanging on my wall. I really like the way this project turned out. It was super easy and quick and very inexpensive. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.